If you're done waiting for your friends to join you for the next adventure, here's the video where I talk about how I started solo and you can too. Let's roll the intro and get going. In childhood, I was crazy about cycling, but due to financial conditions, I couldn't get one. But December 2014, I got myself a cycle and went on a trip from Indore, Madhya Pradesh to Mumbai, cycling over 750 kilometers one way. And I didn't think at that point of time that this is just the start. Later on, I ended up cycling over 20,000 kilometers, where my last trip was from Indore, Madhya Pradesh to Bhutan and back to Indore. In between all of these passionate paddling, I didn't realize when I became a traveler, to be precise, a solo traveler. And I never got this chance to sit back, relax and think that how can I be a solo traveler. After cycling, I went on hitchhiking and then on walking. And I don't know at what certain point I was out of this scary space where traveling haunts you. Not only that, it changed me as a person as well. Here are the few things it does to you. It makes you confident. You take small and big decisions on a regular basis. Many a times you fail in them. And these are the setbacks, which gives you the learning and confidence to make better decisions. It makes you a leader. You do not have anyone to guide you. You are the one who choose what's right and what's wrong. And you start to take responsibilities of your action. It teaches you the value of money and time. You start realizing who you are and what you want to do the rest of your life. Whether you want to settle down in a city, make money or go out with the people you love and enjoy doing the things you like. It gives you positive perspective. You start seeing problems as an opportunity. You understand other people and you become more loving towards the living being. Now, before you go and hit the road as a solo traveler, here are a few of my tips which I have understood in last few years. Let me share them with you. Tip number one, keep a backup phone. I always carry my iPhone, but along with that, I carry a black and white normal phone and with another SIM card. So that if in case my bigger phone died or broke or someone stole, I always have a phone as a backup to get back. Point number two, being attentive. I know that a lot of videos and every here and there, we keep reading such quotes, let's get lost, but sorry, don't really. Being attentive means always take care of your phone or your devices or your bag. Majorly whenever I am traveling, I never let my bag go away from me. Even if I'm in a train on a longer journey or in a bus, I always make sure that all of my stuff is in touch with me. Tip number three, think toys and be sure you're traveling solo, hence you are the one who gonna take all the decisions. That's why think who's your company, where are you eating, where are you sleeping and whom are you going out with? Where's your luggage? So be sure, think toys, travel safe. Tip number four, take care of your expenses. You're traveling solo, you're limitless and you might end up spending limitlessly. I would recommend fix the itinerary and budget for yourself before you start. If you need help with that, here's the link to the video which I've already posted and it's about budget traveling. This might help you plan your budget. Point number five, use technology as a weapon. Share your GPS location with your friends and family. Download apps like Translator and Google Offline Maps and such similar apps you feel will make your travel easier and safer. Point number six, keep your documents extra safe. When I'm traveling, I keep my passport and all the other documents in a hidden pocket. And along with that, I keep a few photocopies of all the documents because when I'm traveling, I know I'm gonna need it. And I don't wanna hand over my documents to an unknown for photocopy. Also, keep a few photos of all the documents in your phone, laptop, or on cloud in case you need to share it digitally with someone. Third, and very important now in the digital age that you can have government approved apps which confirms your digital ID proof on airports and other places. My last and the seventh tip is divide your money and keep it in different pockets. While you're traveling out there, your eyes will be wide open looking for your next adventure. And at the same point of time, somebody else will be looking at your one of the pocket for their next adventure. And if in case it happens that someone cuts your pocket, you'll still have money remaining in your different pockets. So be safe and play smarter. So that's my story as a solo traveler and my tips for you to become a solo traveler. In case I forgot something to share with you and you know it, please share with me and the community in the comment section. And to become a part of the community, hit the subscribe button because I am coming up with the next series now, which is Blogging 101, where I share my journey, expertise, and the way I make money with blogging in this series. So stay tuned. See you in the next video.